Hey guys, so yesterday I had a new incident take place with one of my cars um, that I haven't experienced before and that was one of my renters uh, that rented out my smart car. Um, his battery died. I think they left a light on or a door open or something like that during their trip so by the time they got back to the car, the car was dead. Um, so they contacted me and I was super far away from where they were and they asked me, you know, what are they supposed to do in this situation and I remember that I had read somewhere that Turo offers um, emergency roadside assistance so I quickly looked into it and so that's the route that we went um, what I figured out was on the insurance cards provided by Turo um, if you have your cars insured through them um, you'll actually find the emergency roadside assistance on the back side of the insurance car uh, insurance card so what I did was I just told the renter hey look in the glove box you'll find the insurance card um, because I make sure that I print out a copy and put them uh, put a copy in all of my cars just so you know just in case um, people have it so I had him just pull the insurance card out take a look at the phone number give them a call um, he called them right away and they were able to dispatch um, somebody to come out and give them a jump so I wanted to do just a little bit more research into what their roadside assistance entails and how exactly it works uh, because as far as I know um, I wasn't charged anything and so far my renter is still on their trip as far as I know they weren't charged anything either um, but after reading about it a little bit more on the support site that Turo has it says that as long as you have a protection plan through Turo so that means if you are if you chose um, you know one of their revenue models where you know it's the 75 split or the 85 split you know whatever the different levels are as long as you have one of their protection plans then that includes roadside service for your guests so as an owner you have to have the insurance through them and that'll include the roadside assistance so if you chose the 90% revenue split with them where you're taking a 90% of the revenue and they're taking the 10 then that does not include roadside assistance so you do have to provide your own in that case um, the other thing I read was that um, it the actual service is provided so if they need a tow or if they need a jump start or a locksmith may be subject to fees to the renter um, so it was super vague online not exactly sure what that means but I know so far in my scenario um, my renter wasn't charged anything at least as of now um, so I thought that was interesting so what I'm gonna do below is I'm going to post the link to where you can print out the insurance cards because on the host side it's kind of hard to find where these are on the renter side they actually have a copy of the insurance card under their reservation but most people don't take the time to print that out but it is available on their phones as well um, so I'm gonna post that link on where to print this out I'm also gonna post the link on um, the support section from Turo that explains more in detail how the roadside assistance works so you can kind of do some a little bit more digging if it applies to you and in the whatever area that you're in uh, so I hope that helps that's what happened to me so I wanted to put that out there and um, it seemed to work out really well thanks again guys